Hey everyone, Darren Belenko, founder of OnlineThinking.net. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use Google Analytics to create audiences for your Google Ads retargeting campaigns. Let's go have a look at how to do this now. Where you want to go to get started with creating audiences is head over to your Google Analytics account. Once you're in the dashboard of your analytics account, where you're going to want to go is to the admin section of your account. So just click the cog in the bottom left hand corner of the left hand menu. You'll see you brought to the admin section of your analytics account. In this menu over here, you're going to want to scroll down and under the property column, you're going to go to the audience definitions tab. Under this tab, you'll see there's two options here for dynamic attributes and audiences. You'll click the audiences link. Once you click the audiences link, you'll come over here through to the audiences tab on your analytics account. Over here, you'll be able to see all of the existing audiences which have already been created on your analytics account. And you'll also be able to go and create new audiences from here. What you want to do to create a new audience is hit the add new audience button. And then over here, you're going to get presented with a few options here for the types of users that you would like to have populating this audience. So you'll see the audience source here is just the view of the analytics account. And then in the next option down here, number two, you'll be able to select the definition of the audience here. This section over here is where you're going to be able to select all of the demographics and all of the settings which are going to define the type of users which are going to be added to this audience. So you'll see here in this section over here, you'll be able to select things like their age, their gender, location, and then in the left-hand menu, there are other things which you can go and further narrow down. So you can also choose the operating system, their kind of browser that they're using. So what you can do over here is if you just go and click into the text boxes that are available to you here, this will auto-populate with the options that you can go and select there. So you can see here we've gone and selected any browser that contains Chrome. And then we can also go and choose the different device categories here as well, such as mobile desktop or tablet. We aren't going to be using any of these targeting options here to go and create our audience here. We are going to be creating an audience from any of the users who have completed a goal on our website. And the goal that we are looking to target for this particular audience is anyone who has completed a form on our website or downloaded one of our lead magnets from any of our landing pages. So where you want to go to access this particular setting is you can just close this dialog over here and we can just close that section again over there. And we brought back to this initial screen here for the audience definition. And just down here at the bottom, you can go and select users who have completed a goal conversion. Google Analytics will then give you another screen here. And you can see here it's already populated the conditions with a goal completion. This isn't the correct goal that we want to target. So what you want to go and do there is just hit the pencil button there to edit. And you can see we are brought back into the initial screen from before, and we are just under the conditions tab. What you then want to go and do is search for the goal that you would like to have um, this audience populated by. So we can just go and sort these here. You can actually go and search here, goal, goal completions. And what we're going to say here is that anyone who has completed any of our goals on our website is going to be added to this website audience. So we're saying here goals per session is greater than zero. And you can also see here you can say or or and and you can go and then add multiple different goal conversions here and goal sets here. And then you can define them by your and and or conditions. We aren't going to be using these filters here for these uh, audiences right now. So we are just going to go and remove those over there. And over there, we are just going to go and hit apply. And there we can see here, user over the last seven days, there's 22 users in this audience. So it's not going to be very large right now at the moment. And then the membership duration, you can see we can go all the way up to 540 days. That is really long for an audience. So we are just going to put this up to about 180 days. And you can see here in the eligibility section, this particular audience we will be able to target on the Google Ads display network, on Google Ads RLSA, through our Google Analytics, as well as on external partners of the Google network. So we're just going to then give this audience a name down here. We are going to say users who completed a 
goal. And then we can just hit next step. In this last final step here for audience destinations, this is where we are going to be able to choose where we want this audience to be saved to or to be published to. So if you have connected your Google Analytics account to your Google Ads account, you will see an option here for Google Ads under this menu over here. And if you haven't done that yet, you will only have the option for the Analytics account here. What we want to do is we want to target this audience in Google Ads. So we are going to select both of these options here. And then you can see down here that our Google Ads account has been added to one of the destinations here as well as the analytics. You can then go and hit the publish button there. And once you've hit publish, you'll see the screen is just reloaded over here and you might need to just go and hit the back to audiences page. And then once we're back on the audiences page, you will see our brand new audience has been created here, users who completed a goal. And we can then go into this particular audience here just to see what the settings are. And we can also then go and edit it once again if we want to go and change any of these settings over here. So now that you've created your audience, you'll now be able to go through to your Google Ads account. And when you're setting up your Google Ads campaigns, under the targeting section there, you will be able to go and target these particular audiences that you have now created in your analytics account. And that is a very effective and easy way to go and set up your retargeting ad campaigns without there being too much difficulties of Google Tag Managers and any other technical difficulties that you might run into. That brings us to the end of this lesson today. Next week's video, we are going to have a look at setting up the new Google Analytics 4 property for your website. So I hope to see you again for that. If you got value from today's video, hit the like button below and leave a comment and I'll see you again next week.